Hi everyone, it's Anemic Pinay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing another road test review for a Benefit product and this is what they call the Hello Flawless Oxygen Well Foundation. And if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this product, then keep watching. Okay, so ito na yung sample size ng Hello uh, Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation na nakuha ko sa salad box for the month of April, I think. And this is how big it is. Actually, it's not really big. It's a small size. It's a 3ml size of container. I think this is good for one to two usage just for you to test kung okay yung foundation sa or not. Now, uh, again, it's a sample size kaya ganyan lang siya kaliit. I don't know how much the actual size or price rather nitong product nito, the big size or yung full size niya. But if I happen to find out, check nyo na lang sa information box below. Ilalagay ko yung price doon. According to the website, meron 10 shades itong foundation na to. Pero I'm not so sure kung lahat ng shades na to available sa Philippines ha. Pero if you guys are interested to know kung ano yung mga shades na yon, I will put a link down sa information box below. So check niyo na lang doon. Hindi ko sure kung magkano yung actual price ng full size nito, pero i-check ko na lang siguro in the next few days. Um, tapos, I'll just update the information box below every now and then to see kung, or to give you the information na kailangan nyo. So, with the prices and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, if you guys are interested to know kung paano ko siya in-apply sa face ko, kung ano bang tools yung ginamit ko uh, when applying the foundation, I'll show you guys in the next clip. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to apply this using a brush. So, ito muna ang gagamitin natin. Ang gagamitin ko is yung Sigma F84 brush na meron ako kasi yan na lang malinis. So, I'm getting the product out here from this little container. Hindi ko alam kung may amoy kasi medyo may sipon ako ngayon. Kaya... Since medyo maliit yung container at hindi ko sure kung kakasya na to sa buong face ko, I'll put it in a um, tray palette. Pa ano ba tawag dito? Hindi ko alam kung anong tawag dito eh. So, I'll use the brush first on one side of my face. Tapos, uh, the other side, I'll be using a damp sponge. Ito na lang gagamitin ko kasi ito na yung pinakamabilis kong nakuha. So, feeling ko maputi yung shade sa akin. Mukhang okay naman yung shade sa akin. So, malagay ko na yung isang layer ng foundation dito sa right side ng face ko without any moisturizer. And so far, I would say na nasa medium to or light to medium coverage siya. Maganda yung coverage yung nagawa niya dito sa mga pimple marks ko or mga dark spots around the cheeks area. I tried to double it up underneath the eyes pero it seems like hanggang dyan na lang yung coverage niya. Um, pero hindi ko nalalagyan ng concealer kasi gusto kong makita yung performance ito throughout the day. Tapos, um, medyo I think nasa dewy finish yung foundation and medyo nakakaramdam ako ng lagkit sa face kahit after a minute or yeah, I think kailangan mo pa siyang hintayin para mag fully set sa face mo. Na even out ko yung skin tone ko actually medyo nagmukhang healthy versus dito sa side na to na walang foundation. Ito medyo nagglow, medyo nagmukhang healthy healthy na ang dating ng skin ko after applying the foundation. So ang gagawin ko na lang, I will just apply the foundation naman on the left side of my face. Now this time around, I'll be using a damp sponge. Ito na lang disposable. And then, dump ko siya ng event ko na, ano, na water spray. Apply ko na yung foundation on the left side of my face. And 
very noticeable na mas maganda at mas nagustuhan ko yung finish nung left side where I used the sponge versus dito sa right side. Mas maganda yung coverage na ginawa niya underneath the eyes. Um, also, mas definitely mas maganda at smooth yung finish niya as opposed dito sa right side. I am not sure kung dahil ba sa sponge yung uh, pagiging magandang finish niya. Mas parang feeling ko mas naging full yung coverage niya dito sa right, sa, uh, rather sa left side. Dito, kasi medyo parang sheer pa yung coverage niya. T Try ko pang i-build yung foundation dito sa left side. Tingnan natin kung may difference pa. So there you go. I must say na buildable yung foundation. So it gives you a light to medium coverage on one layer but you can still build it up to medium to full coverage kung gugustuhin nyo. Although napansin ko na nagsisettle siya sa mga fold lines ng eyes ko or around the eye area. So, but nothing that can be fixed by just, you know, dabbing your fingers around it and blending it well. So, ayan. So, make sure lang siguro na iset mo siya right away. So, siguro mas paganda kung iset mo siya agad with a powder. Ito gagamitin ko, yung Benefit Hello Flawless Powder ko din in the shade Honey. So, I'll just set it with that. And ang oras natin ngayon, wait lang. It's 12.24 na ng tanghali. Tamang-tama, aalis kami ngayon. Kaya mas set or matetest pala natin yung foundation throughout the day with the humidity and weather na meron tayo ngayon. So, I will check on you guys after a few hours to see how the foundation is holding up. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is gonna be my first check-in para sa foundation review na ginagawa natin for benefit. And ang oras natin ngayon, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, I think it's been 3 hours and I'm using my phone to do this check-in kasi nandito na kami sa mall. And so far, as I can see, no oily na ako, daddy, no? Medyo oily na yung face ko. Um, as you can see, medyo, ayan, oh, nag-build na. Nag-start na mag-build yung um, oiliness on my nose and on the cheeks area. At the first two hours, um, mukha pa siyang okay. Mukha siyang parang healthy-healthy lang ang dati. Pero as time goes by, like ngayon, three hours have passed, medyo hindi na maganda tingnan. Kaya medyo oily. Pero, ayun nga. So, tatanggalin ko na lang siguro once makabili ako ng blotting sheet, tanggalin ko yung oiliness on my skin. Tapos, uh, for the rest of the face, still looks good except for the oiliness lang talaga. So, I like yung glowiness. I like yung medyo dewy yung finish niya. Pero, hindi ko na na siya nagugustuhan kapag ka, ano na, pagka super oily na siya. So, ayun. So, I'll just Check on you guys at the end of the night to see how the foundation is holding up. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is gonna be my last check-in para sa foundation review na ginagawa natin for Benefit. And this is how my face looks like. Ang oras natin, it's 9.05 in the evening. So I think it's a good 8 hours or more since inapply natin yung foundation kanina. Uh, on my first check-in, please note na nag-blot ako pero hindi ako nag-touch up kasi I didn't really had much time to go to the restroom and powder up. Ayun, I just went on with the day and this is how my face looks like after 8 hours or more, I think close to 9 hours um, with no touch-up. So obviously, as you guys can see, super duper oily na ng face ko. And... Hindi lang siya oily, I feel really greasy, I feel really malagkit on the face. So, I don't know really at this point. So, I'll just remove the excess oils. Tingnan natin kung ano magiging itsura niya bago natin i-judge. But before I remove my excess oils, let me actually just say that the coverage... Wait lang, lumilipad yung blotting sheet ko. Ayan. So, let me just say na coverage-wise, I think nag-stay put siya. Um, also, I've noticed na wala na yung coverage dito underneath the eyes. Although yung mga uh, small imperfections ko, like yung mga uh, dark spots on my cheeks area, still covered, I would say. Pero yung sa nose area, 
lalo na yung mga crevices ng nose ko. Yung redness niyan, super duper obvious na siya. Another thing na nag-notice na notice ko, I don't know if you guys can see it from here now, pero let me just zoom in para makita nyo na mas maganda. Yan, if I close my eyes, you would see na itong mga folds ng eyelids ko nandyan si foundation bells. So, <laughs> it's not really a good, you know, thing, but if you're not gonna look at the mirror, hindi mo siya malalaman, di ba? So, I will just blot this excess greasiness on my face and I'll check on you guys to see kung maganda pa rin ba yung foundation kung tatanggalin lang natin yung oiliness sa skin ko. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so natanggal ko na yung excess oils ng aking face and apparently, I used two, yeah, two blotting sheets and to my surprise, isang blotting sheet ang buong nagamit ko just on my forehead. So, ganun ka-severe yung pag-oil ng face ko. And, ito na sila. Ayan. Nothing much that was happening at the lower section ng cheeks ko. Pero, on the high points ng cheeks, on my nose bridge, sa chin, lalo na sa forehead, even my eyebrows were really, really, really greasy. And, hindi siya magandang tingnan, lalo na kung, or hindi siya maganda in general. Lalo na for a mom like me na may toddler na laging halik ng halik. Hindi siya maganda. Okay, so let's start with the pros. Okay? I love the finish. I would say na it's more of like an everyday natural kind of foundation na pwede nyo gamitin. You can still see yung skin nyo picking through. It's not all foundation. So, in just one layer, good to go na para sa akin yung foundation. Lalo na kung gagamitin mo lang siya for every day. Coverage-wise, I think it's light to medium coverage on one layer. But you can build it up to almost full coverage, I would say. Kasi hindi naman niya totally na conceal lahat ng imperfections ko, lalo na yung under eye area. It brightens up my under eye area. Yes, it covers yung mga small imperfections ko, like mga small dark spots around the face. But generally speaking, it really didn't cover that well. Uh, when it comes to like redness, I would say, um, yung redness ko medyo na even out niya, pero after a few hours, nawala na rin yung coverage niya. Uh, maybe it plays or yung, yung weather plays a role on that. I'm not quite sure though. Uh, but as I said, it's yun nga, buildable when it comes to coverage. Scent wise, as I said, hindi ako sure kung mabango yung scent kasi I don't smell anything because of my, you know, my clogged nose. It feels really, really light on the skin, lalo na kung one layer lang ang gagamitin mo. And ang ganda ng finish niya. It looks really, really flawless. So going straight through the cons, ayun na nga, medyo hindi siya oily skin friendly. Price-wise, it's really expensive. I think it's ranging from 1,500 to 2,000 pesos. So hindi siya ganun ka-affordable. And to think na hindi siya ganun ka-oily skin friendly, I'm very, very happy that I just got the sample size from the salad box. Um, at least I know na hindi ko na kailangang, or I don't really need to bother uh, buying yung foundation version ng powder. I would probably settle sa powder kasi nga oily skin ako. Yeah, I guess yun lang. Yun lang yun masasabi ko sa foundation. I don't really have like major downfalls except for the price and hindi siya oily skin friendly. Oh, I forgot. Longevity, I think the foundation would give you a really nice coverage, a really nice finish up to 3 to 4 hours. Depende siya kung gaano ka severe mag oil up yung face mo. And for my case, nag oil up siya after 3 hours, pero yung first 2 hours maganda pa siya. So, having said that, do I recommend you guys trying this product? If you guys have normal to dry skin, I would say this product is really, really good for you. Pero, if you have really severe oily skin, I wouldn't really bother buying this expensive product. Because, um, I don't know, you would just keep on blotting your face throughout the day. Um, I love Benefit, but this product particularly, I would say no. 
So I guess that's it for this review. If you guys have any questions about the product, leave that in the comment section below. And all the details about the product that I mentioned ko in this video, and also the product information that I saw on the website, um, I'll put them all in the information box. So make sure to check that out. But as always, thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!